Hey friend, welcome to Herbalism for Beginners, and today we're gonna to talk about the three best and easiest herbs to get started with. And guess what? You can find them all at your local grocery store. I'm gonna talk a little bit about each herb and how you can use them to start making herbal medicine at home right now. Before we get into it, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Erin, welcome to my channel. I am a health coach, I am a home herbalist, and on this channel, I talk about holistic health, beginner herbalism, and how to start making yummy and healthy herbal creations and remedies at home. Please remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications every week when I post new videos. And if you're on Instagram, come over and say hi, I'm at Erin with two N's. Okay, so let's jump into it. So many people that I talk to are really excited to get going with herbalism, but they feel overwhelmed with all the information or feelings of not knowing enough, and they don't know where to start. So today I wanna to give you three easy herbs that you can start with, that you can find at your grocery store, and that you can make multiple different yummy herbal treats and remedies for yourself and your family right now without needing to take any fancy classes or getting any certifications. So a little disclaimer, if you choose not to get your herbs at your local grocery store, that's totally fine. I just wanted to make this as easy as possible. If you do choose to buy your herbs from somewhere other than the grocery store, I do recommend Mountain Rose Herbs and Star West Botanicals. Wherever you're getting your herbs from, just make sure that you are always getting organic. And if you are harvesting from outside, be sure that you're harvesting from somewhere that is not using pesticides, that is not right off a trail and probably being sprayed with dog urine or other things. Now that we have that out of the way, let's jump into it. The first herb I wanna talk about is rosemary. So you can get rosemary at your local grocery store and it's super easy to work with and I love working with it because you can use it for kitchen herbalism and you can also use it for natural body care. It's also pretty easy to grow at home, so if you are interested and excited about growing your own herbs, rosemary is a great place to start. Okay, properties of rosemary. Antifungal, antibacterial, antioxidant. It's also a nervine, which means it's calming for the nervous system. It stimulates circulation in the body, and it also helps with sluggishness and fatigue, which I also found in my studies that it can be used as a coffee replacement to help that sluggish energy and also create mental clarity. It's also great for the skin, helping with inflamed or puffy skin. It's also good for burns and helping with long-term skin inflammation like dermatitis, eczema, and psoriasis. So there are many different uses in the kitchen and in body care. So where can you find it in your local grocery store? You can find fresh rosemary in the produce section, or you can find dried rosemary in the spices section. So what can you do with rosemary? One of the first things that I wanna recommend is doing an herbal bath. Literally just drawing yourself a bath and adding one or two sprigs of fresh rosemary to the bath water. Beautiful way to help calm the mind and increase circulation in the body. And bringing that fresh rosemary into the bath water will really create a glorious smell, help calm you and nourish the body. You can also make a simple culinary oil with rosemary. I actually have a video on how to make rosemary oil. I'll put the link in the description, but essentially you can just take dried rosemary, give it a little grind in your mortar and pestle and pour oil over it. Olive oil is a great one. It goes amazing with rosemary. I've also been known to add a little rosemary and thyme to make a sage rosemary and thyme oil blend. It's great for drizzling on bread, pizza, pasta, even I've done oatmeal before. So that's a super simple one to make as well. You can also do rosemary tea. So you can take like one sprig of rosemary, put it in your teacup and pour boiling water into the cup. And that, as I said, can be used as a coffee replacement to help clear the mind and also give you energy when you're feeling sluggish. I actually did it the other day when I had some work to get done and I didn't, I wasn't really feeling energized. It did help me focus and the smell and the taste gave me this like rejuvenated feeling. Now, if it's summertime and you don't want hot tea or hot drinks, totally get it. 
You can make the rosemary tea and let it cool. You can even add ice to it or lemon and make some lemonade from the rosemary. Uh, lots of things you can do with tea besides just drinking it hot, but that's for a whole other video. <laughs> One final thing I want to mention for rosemary, although there are many other things you can do with rosemary, you can also make a rosemary infused apple cider vinegar. So I would use dried rosemary for this. Just take a little bit of dried rosemary, pour some apple cider vinegar over it, let it infuse similarly to the way that you would let your herbal oil infuse for four to six weeks, strain out the rosemary, and then you have a beautiful rosemary infused apple cider vinegar. You can use it for marinades, you can use it for dressing, salad dressing or sauces. You can also use it by diluting it with water and using it as a facial toner. Okay, the second herb you should start with if you're new to herbalism is chamomile. So one of the things I learned from my teacher, Cammie McBride, in her book, The Herbal Kitchen, which side note, I highly recommend, uh, she says, when in doubt, use chamomile, because chamomile has so many uses that it's always just a safe bet to try using chamomile. It is a super gentle herb with very nourishing and calming properties. It's honestly one of my favorites. It's great for insomnia and restlessness. It's also a vulnerary herb, which means that it helps to heal the skin and generate new skin cells and heal wounds. So really amazing for putting directly on the skin. It's also really great for digestion, so it helps the body to digest fat. It helps with gas and stomach aches. So another herb that is widely used for digestion, for the skin, and for culinary uses. Highly, highly recommend checking out chamomile. Okay, so the best way to get chamomile, if you're shopping at your local grocery store, is in the tea section. So this isn't really a great way to use chamomile as a whole in the long run, but if you're starting out now and you don't wanna to have to place a big order with an herbal company, just run to your local grocery store and get some chamomile tea. You can use the tea bags or you can cut open the tea bags and use the loose leaf chamomile that's inside. Okay, a couple different things you can do with chamomile. First, you can make chamomile tea, obviously for nighttime, for uh, insomnia, for digestive or gas or any like tummy issues. You can also make an herbal latte with it, which herbal lattes are one of my favorite things. I'm not a coffee drinker. My body doesn't like coffee. I get really bad reactions to it. So I've been loving making herbal infused lattes. So I have a video on how to make an herbal infused latte with chamomile and I will put the link in the description so that you can go check that out and watch that. I give full details on how to make it. So another thing you can do is make chamomile oil and this is really amazing for the skin. As I said, it has calming properties. It also is a vulnerary herb, so it helps to actually grow new skin cells. So if you have any wounds or cuts or burns or inflammation, I love using chamomile oil on my skin. It has this just velvety, nourishing feel to it. It's also really lovely to put on your face before bed. It's very calming. So you'll take about one ounce in weight of the dried herb, and then you'll take about seven to 10 ounces in volume of your choice of carrier oil. You could use olive oil, you could use avocado oil, you could use grapeseed oil, you could use jojoba oil, you could use sesame oil. I don't recommend using anything like canola or vegetable oil. Please, please, please don't put those oils in your body under any circumstances. Um, so you can choose whatever carrier oil you like. So you'll take one ounce of the dried herb to about seven to 10 ounces of your carrier oil, Grind up your herb a little bit to break it open and pour your oil over, seal the jar, label it with the date, shake it every day, and in about four to six weeks, you'll have yourself some beautiful chamomile oil. You'll just strain out the plant matter with a nut milk bag, something like this, or a muslin or cheesecloth, and then you'll have a beautiful chamomile oil you can use to make salves, butters, or just massage oil, or just put directly on your skin or on your face. I really love that one, so I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite herbal infused oils. The next thing you can do with chamomile, especially if you're getting those 
tea bags is you can literally just drop one of those tea bags into your hot bath water and it will just make a beautiful calming mixture for you to sit in in the bath it'll be great for your skin it'll be great for your nervous system it'll help calm you and it'll nourish the body highly recommend doing that and it's literally so easy and the final herb that i want to offer you to start with for beginners is ginger okay. ginger is crazy with all of the things that it is good for antibacterial antifungal anti-inflammatory antioxidant antiviral it stimulates circulation gas digestion nausea motion sickness sore throat mucus congestion for if you have a cold aches and pains as well as menstrual cramps it's good for arthritis and it also repairs damaged tissue and scar tissue so for me i have a little bit of scar tissue on my wrist from an injury my next project is to make myself some ginger oil and put it on that wrist to help break up some of that scar tissue okay forms of ginger how can you buy it in your local grocery store you could get fresh ginger in the produce section you could get dried powdered ginger in the spices section or you could get ginger in the form of tea in the tea bags okay a couple things that you can do with ginger I love making herbal honey and ginger honey is absolutely delicious. I highly recommend getting powdered ginger for that. Start with four ounces of honey, mix in about a tablespoon of ginger, mix it around, give it a taste, see what you like it, just do it by taste. Um, it is so delicious and one of my favorite things to put in tea or on toast. I highly recommend making yourself some ginger honey. Also, ginger herbal oil, as I mentioned, I've been wanting to do some on my wrist. So you could take about one ounce in weight of dried ginger and put seven to 10 ounces of your carrier oil on top of that. Shake it every day, let it sit for four to six weeks and strain out the ginger. Once you're done, you'll have beautiful ginger oil. You can put on anywhere on your body that you need uh, circulation, anywhere where you want to heal a scar tissue. The other thing you could do with ginger is make an herbal latte. As I said, you can watch my chamomile latte video and just literally replace the chamomile tea for ginger tea. And then of course, ginger tea itself. So you could use a ginger tea bag, you could use fresh ginger. Uh, there's so many different things that you can do with ginger and that ginger tea will help with uh, your digestion and it'll also help with sleep it'll also help if you have a cold so many many things here that you can do with ginger if you like these different ideas for ways that you can bring these herbs into your home into your kitchen and into your body care i highly recommend checking out the herbal kitchen by cami mcbride there are tons of recipes in here uh, herbal baths herbal honeys herbal oils herbal vinegars and on and on. So if you really liked the suggestions that I made today and you want more or you want measurements, I highly suggest grabbing The Herbal Kitchen by Cami McBride. This book is just an abundant resource of not only herbal information, but ways to make stuff with your herbs right now in your kitchen with things that you already have, not feeling overwhelmed, not feeling like you don't know enough, you do. You do know enough and this is a great way to get started. So I hope that helps. And I just wanted to throw out there too some other herbs that are super easy that you can get at your local grocery store that you can make other things with similar to what I mentioned here. Basil, thyme, lavender, uh, turmeric, and there are many others. So I just wanted to throw out uh, a few more in case any of the ones I mentioned aren't your cup of tea. No pun intended. Thank you for watching. I hope this video inspired you to realize that you do know enough and that is very, very simple and easy to get started with bringing herbs into your kitchen, into your body care routine. Beautiful way to start bringing in the plants into your life. So I hope this inspired you and I hope this helped make things a little bit easier for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna get notified when I post new videos each week. And if this video supported you and there's someone that you know that you feel like could receive value from this video, please share it with them. I would really, really appreciate that. If you like this video, you're really gonna like my upcoming class where I teach about how to make herbal infused oils and go into more depth about how you can fully, fully extract medicine from those oils and make them as potent as possible for culinary and for body care. So you can check that out in the description. I also have a whole playlist called Herbalism for Beginners where I talk about different herbs and different ways to get started bringing these herbs into your home, into your body care. Super simple, super easy 
cut out all the noise and just make it simple and have fun. If that calls to you, check the link below. I will put the link to the playlist there. Come over and say hi on Instagram. I would love to meet you. And feel free to leave in the comments what questions do you have? What herbs do you like using in the kitchen? And feel free to let me know any requests of other videos that you have. I love making videos based on the requests from you so that I know that there's something that you want and there are videos that are actually supporting you. Bye, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.